it might sound cliche, but it's really our best effort yet. We work with Christian Machado of El Nino. He's the producer on this album. He worked with us one month in the studio with all of us recording and then the post-production. He treated it like it's an El Nino record. In the past, uh, we did maybe recorded uh, an album or an EP maybe in a week, you know. We were never in a recording studio for a month. Christian was with us every day in the studio. So that added a lot to the record. City of Sixes is a concept video. Scott Hansen directed that one. It's about New York City. There's like a lot of sin and excess going on. They did a great job filming what we envisioned. They did a great job on the costumes and makeup. They brought so many costumes as if like we were filming a movie. And we love to create these characters for every video, every time we do it. And you know, Scott Hansen kind of went with it. We tried to do a little bit multimedia show on stage, like a use TV screens or a projector, like a show the videos while we're playing, sync our performance to that. But nobody really syncs their performance with what's going on on the screens. One thing we don't like with even the biggest bands we like sometimes, it's an overproduced album, sounds awesome, and then on stage you don't hear that. There, there are elements missing or there are instruments missing, you know, like a, there has to be a second guitar, but the band has only one guitar player. And, or there has to be some keyboards. Okay, where are they? The band doesn't have a keyboard player, but there is on the record. So you like, you want to hear that live. That's why, like we don't have a keyboard player, but we have a lot of keyboards, especially in the new record. So we use them on stage, we play over them. We use uh, ba backing tracks for them. Uh, because it's like, otherwise it's, it's wrong. It's not your song anymore. My drummer, T-Bone, he, he knew uh, one of the great guys from the El Nino team. He used to work with my drummer, you know, like years ago. We kind of made an appointment with Christian finally, and uh, we met him in the studio. And then one thing led to another, and then first we talked about maybe doing one song, like one single, or just maybe an EP, a few song EP. It took another year to decide what to do, and then we went to California for different reasons and we had a, another meeting with Christian over there and we finalized it over there. Early 2001 I uh, came to the States from Turkey. I had a band and I used to play metal back in Turkey, back in Istanbul, I, that's where I'm originally from. We even toured Turkey at the time and it was in English, it wasn't even Turkish, like an English trash metal. And uh, so that was really against a lot of things at the time, you know, like a, the, the, the society was not open to heavy metal and it, they looked at it like almost like devil's music. I kind of got fed up with that. So I found an opportunity to come to the United States. But I was supposed to stay here only for six months. That was actually through a Turkish business. I started immediately, you know, looking around. Like, how can I find musicians? How can this be done in this country that I have no idea? I don't know even my way around. But the second I left Turkey and then never went back permanently, uh, it's like things changed over there musically and artistically so fast. It's like there is like a Sony Sphere happening, big festivals happening every year in Istanbul. Okay, why did that not happen when I was there? Now it's more European over there and like a, a lot of bands traveling and touring Turkey. The circumstances are much better. They have everything over there. And back in the day when I was there, there was no even a CD. We like we were buying bootleg cassettes, you know, on the street. That's the first time I remember buying Metallica's 91 Black album on a cassette. And the, and the cassette tape was 60 minutes and the album was 72 minutes. Where was the rest of this album? I couldn't even get that. So you start, you know, uh, listening to Slayer, Metallica, Anthrax, Iron Maiden. It's like you're like growing with them. Okay, I, I want to do this. And then, but it's not happening here. It's almost like I'm trapped here. I'm glad that I am able to do it here, you know, and with great musicians in my band. So that's why then, you know, when I, I came here. This is Emir Erkal from Voodoo Terror Trap. You're watching Louder Noise TV, loudest noise on earth.